How far can sharks smell blood? Scent is only one of several methods that sharks use to detect their prey. The other methods that they use are sight, hearing, lateral line, and electroreception. They also use taste and touch, but we'll get to those two later. One of the first senses that sharks use to detect their prey is sound and they hear sounds from long ranges, well before their prey comes into sight. Sharks are particularly attracted to low-frequency sounds, especially those made by wounded prey. In addition to sound, sharks use the lateral line system to detect their prey. This system is a series of fluid-filled channels that are situated underneath the skin along the sides of the body and the head. There are tiny pores in the skin which allow water to flow into the channels where sensory cells are located. These sensory cells allow the shark to detect water movements, such as currents and movements or vibrations caused by struggling prey. The other unusual way that sharks detect their prey is electroreception. Electroreception is when sharks detect the electrical impulses that are given off by every living thing. Sharks have the ability to detect these impulses because they have lots of small pores in their skin around their snout, known as the ampullae of Lorenzi. These pores help sharks to detect their prey at close range, even if they are hidden underneath the sand. How do sharks detect smells? Before we explore how far sharks can smell blood we need to understand exactly how they can detect smells underwater. Sharks have two nostril-like openings which are known as nares, and are located on the underside of their snout. However, unlike mammals, they don't use them for breathing. Their nostrils aren't even connected to their throat or lungs as they breathe through their gills. Instead, sharks use their nostrils solely for detecting scents. Smells are carried in the water by the currents which disperse and carry molecules from things such as blood. Sharks' nostrils are lined with sensory cells which are called olfactory epithelium. These cells can detect the tiny scent particles that are carried in the water. The water enters the shark's nostrils and flows over the sensory cells, allowing for the particles to be detected. Once a scent is detected a signal is sent to the shark's brain where the scent is interpreted. More than half of a shark's brain is made up of olfactory lobes. These olfactory lobes are what interpret the scent and help the shark to detect whether it is a predator, prey, or a potential mate that they can smell. After that it is up to the shark to decide what action it is going to take. Amazingly, sharks' nostrils work independently. There is sometimes a delay between the two nostrils detecting a scent, especially if the scent particles are coming towards the shark at an angle. Due to this, sharks always turn their head in the direction of the nostril that has detected the scent first even if the time delay is only a fraction of a second. This means that sharks always turn towards the direction of the scent. How far can sharks really smell blood? As we've just learned, sharks rely on tiny particles entering their nostrils to detect scents. Sharks have extremely sensitive nostrils and can detect scents from far away, but how far they can detect these scents depends on a few things. Particles from different scents disperse in the water differently. However, depending on what it is, they can detect things in the water at between one part in 25 million and one part in 10 billion. To put the latter into perspective, that's around one drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. However, it's not just the number of particles that determine how far sharks can smell blood, it's the water currents as well. This is because the scent particles get diffused, spread around, by the water. The only way a shark can pick up the scent is by the water carrying those tiny particles to them or the shark swims into them. So because these particles are carried by the currents, the major factor that determines how far a shark can detect blood is the direction and speed of the water. As a rule, it takes a long time for particles to travel in the water once they are dispersed. However, faster currents mean that the scent will travel quicker and further.